We're in central Victoria in a little country town called Maribor where I grew up and uh, probably about 9,000 people that live here so it is very tight knit and sport probably brings the community together. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time growing up here. We're here today to try and educate the kids and parents a little bit about fire ready. It's all about teaching the kids about fire plans and the risks associated with bushfires and trying to give them an insight into how to prepare. Obviously Maribor is in a, in a bushfire prone area being surrounded by bush so it's, um, it's vitally important to understand the, the risks associated with that and things can turn um, sour on a, a very hot day so it's important that the, the parents check the fire dangers daily, get in contact with the CFA. We're handing out leaflets today with basic information but there's multiple sources they can go to. There's a CFA website, the PI website, the Bureau of Meteorology, Facebook, CFA's got a Facebook page, uh, Department of Justice runs information as well. So there's a whole range of ways in, in which to gather information. But as summer gets a bit closer, there's three really important things we've all got we can use on a daily basis. Eyes, ears and nose. Look to see what's happening around you. Smell for smoke if there's any action around and listen to any unusual noises around. There is a Fire Ready app that uh, you can download on your mobile and I think it's just fantastic to be able to have that there to, to check the fire ratings but also work out a plan that's suitable for you. Even though sometimes you think it's, it can't happen to you, the risk is only just around the corner so you need to be ready and switched on. Good idea to have a plan, a plan is to be in a safer place.